Thank you for being here. First tonight at 10 o'clock. Today marks day three of jury deliberations in the Jody area sentencing retrial. They did not reach a verdict today. No court back on Friday. The jury back at it early this morning. They'll decide if Jody gets life in prison or death for the murder of her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander, in 2008. And they'll continue their deliberations tomorrow. That will be day four. But tonight we get an exclusive look inside the place Jody Arias will call home for years to come, her prison cell. No matter whether she gets death or life in prison, Jody will be taken to Perryville Prison to the Lumley Unit and this cell. Officers open the door and we get an exclusive look into Jody Arias's new home. The cell has a painted blue floor, a small bunk with a thin vinyl covered mattress, some shelves, a porcelain sink and toilet. It's in the maximum security Lumley unit at Perryville Prison. In life or death, this cell is where Jody Arias will live. So it doesn't because, matter to her at first, life or death? Because the death row, they're so few, uh, there's only two of them. If you will, they're in the midst of the run where the maximum security inmates are housed. These fenced in areas are where Jody will get to spend six hours a week in recreation time. At first, it has to be all alone. And with death, it will stay that way. Arias getting her meals through this slot in the door. But if Arias instead gets life, her time here will improve fairly quickly. After a month with perfect behavior, She's eligible to spend $80 a week in the prison store for food and supplies. She can eat breakfast and dinner in the dining area with other inmates. She can get a job that will pay her between 10 and 50 cents an hour, do origami and pencil drawing activities. And group counseling sessions with 11 other inmates will be offered. But during those, she will be locked in place. Their ankles uh, are in cuffs. There's a slide bar that goes over that so that they could not get up out of the chair and try and attack or touch another inmate. The correction staff at Perryville has been preparing for Arias' arrival by telling officers to keep a professional distance from her. They say they'll be watching her and her interaction with other inmates very closely. This is a high profile inmate. I think this, the uh, concern about possible manipulation is legitimate. And so better to be forewarned than not. When the jury reaches a verdict, you can watch it live right here on Fox 10. We'll also be streaming it on Fox 10 News Now uh, and also our YouTube channel. So you can just take your phone and dial us up there on your phone if you can't get to a TV screen.